Welcome back to Game Theory. This is Professor Johnson, and this is the third part of Plumo and the Art of Fair Play Deception, where we're going to cover controlling the narrative. So I have selected two of Plumo's videos for analysis, not because they're the best ones. Plumo, as a player, produces content that is itself a masterclass in practical game theory. I have titled this short series Plumo and the Art of Fair Play Deception, but what is fair play deception? The term is almost oxymoronic. Fair is associated with above board and by the book. Deception is underhanded and against the rules. But there I submit to you that uh, there is ample historical context for what could be considered quote-unquote fair play deception. That which is surreptitious but not underhanded. That which is not above board but is also not against the rules. The line between the two is not always so clear and in my estimation comes about from the knowledge that deception is a viable strategy in a particular game one where it is not we feel cheated when we're the deceived well the other where it is a viable strategy it's more of a game of wits and that is what would be considered fair play but again the line is not quite so clear that's what makes it an art and in my opinion what makes plumo a master of that art uh, this second video will show that he is able to understand these boundaries and play within them masterfully this is plumo exhibiting fair play deception before we continue just a reminder from the last video we are going to be looking at gameplay footage of dread hunger which is a game that features mechanics built around an arctic expedition a la the franklin expedition and will therefore have themes and scenes depicting blood gore cannibalism violence animal cruelty and murder this is not required material for the course and provided merely as supplementary material if you find any of these themes to be objectionable or triggering you do not need to proceed with this video you may continue and it will not be at all part of your grade now if you're still here i recommend watching the match without my commentary before watching this one uh, it is linked in the description of part one see if you can pick out the player strategies and major play major plays before we uh, go through them together after that come back here and keep track of as much as you can as we go through on canvas i have provided pre-filled in decision trees with mixed strategies based on my analysis of some 30 dread hunger matches as we watch, refer to those to see if optimal strategies have been played and respond to this week's discussion post regarding counter strategies and Sackleberg security games. Now, for Dread Hunger, keep in mind as we watch this that the game can be classified as a simultaneous asymmetrical zero sum limited horizon game. It has very few equilibrii, but make sure and see if you can identify any using the materials I provided on Canvas as you watch. Ah, I got two pairs. Oh. I have aces. Ah, he simply outplayed. Yep. Thank you. No way. Who said no way? You're the thrall. We'll catch you. We'll catch you. So we begin again, but this time you will note that Plumo is playing as the Navigator and is a Thrall. The Navigator begins the game with a Spyglass, Lantern, and Coal, and has a passive buff of up to 10% to their movement speed, making them significantly faster than other players and at their maximum. His partner here in the Thrall game is the player going by October, and only the two of them are prestige players, meaning that they are likely more experienced than the entire crew. Right, serious, uh, serious strategy this round. No, Chaplin, that might The ultimate oh. frame. The navigator's call is through the top. Would have been second then. Cook, down the chute, down the chute, engineer. engineer All right. <laughs> the chef. Okay. So I need to push the same side as my chef, and I need to wait for two people to be alone. I then need to accuse them of being the thralls by using my spyglass and say, I just saw them. Holy shit, guys. I just. I just saw them that. Uh, 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 the Marine just. Yeah, the Marine. What could I say? The Marine just built a totem on the left hand side and the chaplain saw it and didn't do anything about it. So it has to be both of them. That's what it is. It's not the best. Um, not the best words, but it'll. It'll do. So Plumo just laid out a thrall strategy here. It's a very social strategy of accusing players, basically a frame job strategy. 
This is a real gamble in this and most other deception games since it relies on two things. Number one, your ability to lie, and number two, the credibility the other players are willing to lend you. Now, this is a social deception game, and everyone playing this game knows it's a social deception game. So in a game where it is known that the Thralls have every incentive to lie, this all comes down to charisma. Now, Plumo can pull this off, but it's generally a very risky strategy. We'll see how it plays out for him as we go through. Many Thralls would instead choose to either sabotage or even go with a route of more direct conflict. Both tend to be more successful in terms of mixed strategies than pure deception, but again, the right player can do it. Basically, it, it, you, you have to be the right player to be able to effectively lie in a game where all of the players are well aware that you are probably lying. We've got an axe and a couple of bear traps so we can act on our information. Because if I can kill two people right off the bat, right? Two people. That's massive. Now I just need, then I just need my partner to be aware of what I'm doing. Hopefully they're on the ship. It's hard to say what they'll do. Um, we'll rush up and we'll make... We just want to be trustworthy at the start. So I'm going to make some barrels. I'm going to make uh, a couple of... Uh, maybe a weapon and some bear traps. That's all we're looking for at the moment. That way, when the players come back to the ship, we can kill them. And if I'm smart enough, I could even brew a poison and put it on them. Just hold, hold it on there, so when I loot their body afterwards, I can put some poison on it to cement that I was right. It's a classic mana. It's one of the plays that you, I used to make back when Dreadhunger had uh, bone daggers. Uh, you used to be, you used to be able to find bone daggers around the map, and that was an entirely different vibe. Um, I can get this, no problem. We'll just grab this. It's just the one poison. Because all I have to do is prove that one of them is innocent. I'm not going to touch any of these doctor bags, so it's not going to look suspicious at all. So Plumo is making poison here. Uh, what he's talking about doing is planting a suspicious item on a dead player's body to cement their guilt with the rest of the crew. Uh, he just referred to bone daggers, and a previous version of Dreadhunger required thralls, thralls to have a bone dagger to cast spells. That's not so anymore. As you can imagine, this mechanic tipped the scales of the game ever so slightly back to the crew as their strategy would just default to find coal, destroy bones or bone daggers. Thralls would default to the opposite. So it was a more, maybe more balanced game, but it was also a lot less exciting back then. I'll just grab the stuff here. We'll focus on grabbing the coal. So I can make two barrels here, and then three bear traps. That's all you really need. Oh, I can make an axe too. We're trying to go for a, a frame a frame job strategy. That's really all it is. Um, keep that poison there. Um, we'll go for the axe i'm clever i could even look here let's use the key in case i get a second poison or something i'm quite getting smart to just do that immediately but it's all right cut the will do nicely wow who's that finally arriving at the camp <laughs> so as luck would have it the chef did not arrive on the side with plumo as he wanted but the two players he intended to frame have Game theory can help you develop sound strategies, but a little luck never hurts. Uh, anyone done anything suspicious yet? Yeah, I have a bunch of bones. Who said that? Uh, Captain. Captain is bones. Noted. Noted. Marine really wants some uh, doctor bags, too. It's a classic marine move. Yeah. <laughs> There's one thing I know about marines is that he tampers in the dark arts of uh, medicine. When I'm on my deathbed, the person I want looking over me is that beautiful bearded gun. 
wielding maniac. <laughs> All right. Okay. Come here, wolves. You want to go? Yeah. 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 Ah, yes. Okay. Excellent job. There's an extra key there, Chaplain, if you want it. It's in that chest. I know you like those things, so... <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> no worries, no worries. over that I'm side really as is yes i've got uh five six coal seven coal actually uh, yeah. nothing nothing yeah yeah we get to go okay. so. okay. lovely okay so we can i want to frame two players that go over left side i want them to hang up or even players on the right side captain is currently a player who players don't trust because of his Alignment with grabbing those early bones. The doctor hasn't been seen by anyone, he's just up there on the right hand side. Got some more coal for us, lads. Uh, fuck me. Call me Peter Ricky, the Ricky. I mean, on the ship, buddy, on the ship. There All we right, go. Take All right. All right. Nice. Alright, I'm locking myself in the <laughs> fucking. There's another coal for us. Just slowly doing this. I am making it. Who's uh, driving at the moment? Uh, engineer. Uh, no. Nice. Who went over the left side? Sir, that would be me. I brought back eight coal. Uh, note the message. This is automatic and keeps the thralls informed of each other's actions. Uh, the chef and Plumo did not have an opportunity to discuss strategy, and the, th and the chef is opting for a poison play. You will see the uh, blue outline in the thrall vision. That's the chef in the galley. It's kind of an obvious play for, for the cook character, but I think at this point they might be getting antsy and, and might be trying to make something happen. And from their perspective, they're not seeing any messages because Plumo hasn't actually done any quote-unquote thrall stuff yet so as from the chef's perspective plumo hasn't poisoned anything or attacked anyone or built any totems or really have not done anything and we're now seven minutes into this so about a third of the game has passed so they're probably getting a little antsy not sure what's going on and who else went over there oh. with you oh fuck uh, we hit up like an iceberg uh, yeah it was about to happen uh, should I put more Nobody's coal in or just it. leave it for now? No, don't, don't leave it. Okay, yeah. cool. It's only one fucking. Yeah, but you, you travel slower. Yeah, you know, we're at 50. Alright, well, there's coal. Yeah, let's get stuff up here. Okay. Yeah, let's get. Nice driving, uh, engineer. <laughs> uh, can I stop, bro? <laughs> no yep. problem. Only have one iceberg. Is it Hunter? Who's here at the moment? We've got Doctor, who just engineer just jumped off. Chef's here. I'm Chaplain's fixing the here. I, 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 I think everyone is here, yeah. Um. Alright guys, this two is about to be ready. So it's Hunter Captain, Hunter Captain. Carry them. Come. <sighs> and only take one please. Well, you do not do? take more than one. Uh, is this animal or...? Uh, this is animal, yeah, I'm not making uh, fucking animals. But I have I two more on me. I would love Hello? one of the kitchen. I thank love you. you. Thank you, thank you. Please don't take more than one. I don't need okay, one. Okay, okay. Um... Okay. I'm just gonna have a look up ahead because the captain ran ahead and that's dodgy as fuck, man. On a 
Honestly, I don't trust him. Uh. I really don't trust him. Guys, the captain, the, the captain, the, there's, um, guys, there's totems up yeah, at the broken I'm ship. There's, the there's, there's totems at the broken ship, guys. There's okay. totems at the broken ship. So. Yeah, the chef sabotages the boiler and runs off because they'll know they'd be found out any moment. Uh, this will actually hamper Plumo's plan a bit, as now he can only accuse one other player, and that player needs to plausibly be working with the chef, i.e. they can't have taken action against or have provided support to that player. Oh, tell she me. Was poisoned. I, I can't see in She's front poisoned. of me. She's poisoned. Like it's poisoned. Fuck. Uh, yeah, he... I'm not gonna mention. Um, okay, so... Thralls? Captain right. and I guess oh, Chef. He, yeah, did Chef just run away? Did you make antidotes, Doctor? Oh, he said he was. He Doctor, said he was. did you make antidotes? I made one of them. I only had can one. I have an antidote? Marine! Can I have, can I have it Marine, you there. looted all those doctor's <laughs> bags. Wait, did, did you poison me? Did you poison me? So No, no, I didn't poison you, no. Well the doctor said he was making antidotes, but he didn't. I don't think it was the cook. I don't, well, I, I ate the stew, but I didn't. I ate the stew, but I, I didn't get poisoned, so I don't do you, know. Do you have? Can I please have an antidote? Well, I was poisoned too, and then I. Yeah, I, I, I just ate the stew, and I didn't get poisoned. As my uh, mom would say, boy, you lie like a rug. In two seconds, Plumo has subtly implicated the captain, the marine, and the doctor, and supported the obviously guilty chef. That is extremely risky, since it might come off as wishy-washy, but it is keeping them confused. I don't have so, any to go to, I only had one. So the other oh, one's, uh, the other so one's captain, the other wait, wait, one's wait, captain, wait. right? Alright, wait, where is that? Where Guys? is that one? Alright, everybody stay away from me. Oh my, I was poisoned. Guys, captains, okay, How captain's gonna poisoned? come back to the ship. I've seen, I there's do. totems up at the broken ship, alright? There's totems at the broken ship, he's coming back now. When he comes back, we need to kill him before he knows that he, um, we're gonna get him, alright? He's gonna come back. Oh. I'm gonna put a bear trap here for when he gets on. Oh. I have the plant. If you have the uh, looting him or uh, whatever the fuck, I can make back. you an antidote. I have learned. Well, no, the, yeah. So I don't know if yeah. it's chef or whether it's someone on the ship who's. It could be someone who's syringe, but the other one, hundred well, percent captain. Hundred only... percent captain. Oh no, he's running Dying. away. He's running up the side. He's running up the side wall, at the moment. Uh, yeah, I didn't have uh, help, so. Okay. Who has the loot? Yeah. Uh, I have one. If you have two, we can make, uh, antidotes. Okay, cool. Uh, the captain comes dog. back. Okay. Yeah, did you guys put my coal in? I put it, it's just there somewhere. Yeah. The you did? Okay. In the right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Oh, who said oh, that? NG. I put that there to get captain yeah, uh, when he comes back. He's just, he's just there. There's totems yeah. in the broken ship. Can just, I please be let out? It. Who just died? Oh, yeah, let's yeah, get him. Uh, uh, Marines for poison. Uh, Alright, here's another risky play. Uh, Plumo has been insisting that there are totems in the broken ship for a while now, but of course he knows there aren't any. So how is he going to keep that lie up when it's verified as false? Well, let's find out. Uh, as a side note, if he had an opportunity to coordinate with the chef and the chef had already left the ship and could have planted some totems there, uh, behind the captain's back as he was leaving, uh, that would have been brilliant. But that requires a level of coordination that Dread Hunger, as a game, simply at this point doesn't support. Captain, hello. hello. Did you just go? Did you just go in and do what I think you did? <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? Oh, you cheeky bastard! What the fuck are you on about? Captain destroyed it. You just. Where are you, Captain? I destroyed what? I don't think so. I don't think it was him. Did, did you just destroy? Else did you, it? Captain? Did you just destroy totems? No. Uh, Marie, did you eat this okay, it's him. It's hundred percent him. Uh, I literally said yeah, I, I have. You have to trust me on this. There's totem. You have to trust me on this. You have to trust me on this. There were totems in the broken ship. He just destroyed them. He just destroyed them. He literally just destroyed them. We didn't them two verify them. Ago. We didn't even verify. No, you have to trust my word on it. That's what I'm saying. No, 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 trust no, my no, word on it. Uh, trust my word is a tall order, and Plumo knows it. I think he might have panicked a little here. A uh, better lie would have been to explain that I saw them with my spyglass earlier. Um, I know they were there when he came out, they were gone, uh, but far be it for me to backseat game, uh, for the purposes of why we're here, though, talking about game theory, this is a long shot strategy from the beginning. 
To his credit, Plumo bought this ticket and he's taking the ride. At this point, it's likely a bit too late to change tactics now, but he will certainly have to be more aggressive if he can't get the crew 100% on his side. It's not me, engineer. I literally brought eight callbacks to the ship. He's done nothing. No, dude. I've done, dude, I've done nothing but be good. You have to trust me on this, buddy. Navigator, navigator, come here. I can heal you. Oh, thank you, buddy. Dude, I was literally Appreciate grabbing it. the coal, thank and you. I have items. I literally have antidotes. I, I look, you have to trust antidotes. me. There were totems in the broken ship. He just went in there and no, destroyed there them before we no, got there because he saw us coming. No, and I saw wasn't. them with my spyglass no, earlier, day wasn't. two. No, the other trust, ones. I'm trusting you because you're, you're Australian. You sound fucking I'm trusting retarded. you. you can't Thank see you. That. I'm trusting you because you're Australian. Oh, the knife digs in deeper. Thumo, ambassador of betrayal. <laughs> Yo, stop killing me, dude. You. Oh my god. Uh, and here is the play of the game. Plumo plants poison on the captain's corpse before the marine can open the inventory. He had poison on him. Um, yeah, he was bad. I wish I could have seen that. Did he have coal? Or did he, what do you have? Uh, let me just get the... So the second one's either Chef or whoever did all the poisoning at the start, but I don't know if it's Chef. He, he did have coal. Yeah, the he chef. did have coal. Uh, he, Okay. Yeah, I ate this feeling got poison, so I think it's He that. has poison here. Someone yeah, have me a... Too. Oh, that's the... Why do I have his hand? What? Didn't pick up his hand. Alright, I'm gonna take the coal yeah, back to the it. ship, and we'll be good. Here, can someone take this coal so I can um, take this medicine to make antidotes? There's a poison there if you want to use it, Doctor. I'll take it, yeah. Um, if you want to take the... Doctor. Oh, I'll... Yeah. yeah, there you go, buddy. Yeah, I'm traveling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All good. Okay, we can get the ship to the end now. Get the... I hope the captain lets himself out. He'll clear me, but until then. Okay, so we've killed captain. That's a classic play. The engineer was bang on, though. Also, I've, I've got key. I'm going to let him out and then kill him. Oh, don't, don't do that. No, that's mean, out, dude. dude. That's don't mean. No. That's, that's mean. a big move. Again, Plumo is a player's player. Double killing the captain would be the optimal strategy for him as it eliminates a crewmate permanently. However, it's not very sporting. In many of Plumo's videos, he's shown this side of him. He's willing to allow players, even enemy players, to play out their strategy, give them an opportunity to see it through to succeed, uh, even when he's well on to them and is almost always willing to give players a run for their money on his own strategies as well. These are all perfect examples of what would be considered quote-unquote fair play deception. <laughs> Whoever keeps poisoning I'm... me, your mom's a hoe. Who did you guys Did you eat a, did you I eat a stew? Antidotes, man. What did you do? I had yeah. fucking antidotes. You did. So I have two stews I've eaten that are poisonous. So okay, so it was the chef, chef then. I don't okay. trust the navigator. You don't have to trust me. I've literally no, bought a million yeah, coal back. Can. It's engineer captain then, I guess. It might... Did engin was engineer no, dude, nearby it, to poison? Has... Plumo was again insisting on trust, likely knowing full well that anyone would be a fool to do so. He hasn't done anything to earn the engineer's trust since the attack near the broken ship. Dude, it's it's you. You've been putting, pushing too much shit, bro. What have I pushed? I literally Honestly, heard what someone have I say pushed? you have poison. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know whether you're a thrall or not, Cat Engineer, but you have to trust me that if you're a thrall right now, you need to not kill me. Oh my god. If you're a crew, sorry, then you need to not kill me. The engineer. I don't think the engineer's the thrall. I think he's just making yeah, I a mistake. Trust, yeah, I trust you. You fucking yeah, me. Me. I shot you. Yeah. Are you the wrong? Obvious... It just takes no, one no. person. It's obviously you and fucking navigator, huh? I'm gonna no, call no. it now. I'm gonna call it now. Oh, you showed you showed your bull dagger, you pussy. But again, the marine has his back. It goes to show one of two things: either a sound social strategy works as long as you have the trust of a single member of the group, or maybe just being Australian pays. Uh, or did, at least until this match. I bet this Marine never trusts another Aussie again as long as he lives. Fucking, he's here, he has... Yet. Oh so it's, engine, it's, it's, it's engineering I'm captain. I'm killing you for that, for that fucking misconception. Oh my god, he just showed his I didn't even have a fucking burn dog, you dumb fuck. <laughs> my ass. Three barrels. My ass. My ass. We can make a stew out of this guy, so it'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah, think okay. the engineer was the thrall. I just think he just made a bad call. It happens. Yeah. Uh, in, in... 
Dude, it's okay. obviously the Australian. It's obviously you guys. Yeah. I mean, we know it's you. It's, uh, I mean, I know it's you. Hey, uh, Royal Marine, what was that syringe you just had? Oh, no, I made this before. Alright. It's just a syringe. The oh, Marine, hey, it? engineer, engineer. The Marine died to poison day one. Okay, if he was a thrall, he wouldn't have died to poison day one. Alright. It's the hunter, they just drove us into an iceberg. No, the the hunter's fine, it's they brought a lot of coal back. I think the thralls are still the chef and captain, but I don't know if the engineer just lost the plot a little bit there. Or Bro, what? who's you the one that's obviously to the fuck everyone? You, every chef has three seconds, you guys are going, it was them, it was them. You guys, I, I haven't. No, oh I've said the same thing from the start. Someone poisoned the stew, and the other no, one was the captain you. who built totems no, and destroyed them. I mean, you can say what you want, it but you're matter. wrong. And at the end of the game, I'll accept hey, an apology. Hey. But until then, Australian. enjoy your time in the uh, Australian. timeout. Yes. Australian. Hello. Australian guy. Yes. Australian guy. Hello. Yes. Why did one of you scream out? He has poison. The engineer. Mm -hmm. The engineer. The um. The marine. No, no, when the you guys were looting my body, we the first, the one captain, of you guys, you had a poison. Yeah, yeah, you. Don't. yeah. No, I didn't. Who said I had yes, poison? Yes, you did. No, yes. I didn't. I saw a poison on your corpse. That's bullshit, dude. I had it's antidotes. Not. I had a <laughs> yeah, you had an antidote. And I had unless yeah. unless he planted it. Unless he planted it. On an I have for my full no, coal. We're gonna get to the end, and then we'll be fine. Honestly, if they're wasting our time. You just have to. <laughs> yeah, have with the wasting Honestly, our time, let's play, just get the ship to the end. I don't even care. If it was a good job, I didn't do it very cleanly. It would have been uh, like a lot easier. Alright. It's shittiest right, because people like get killed. They get they get so bitter, and this the is, more bitter they get, the more it sells them. They so they destroyed their own totems, so they're gonna be stuck in there for a little while. I I know, I don't want them I don't wanna be out. Chips at the end. Oh, yeah. You guys are falling for it. Down, slow down, slow down. Oh, yeah, it's oh. right at the end. It's reversing. It's reversing. It's obviously Bro. dumb. Alright, fine. Right. No, don't let me out. Do not let me out. Don't let them out. He's, yeah, he's yeah, a throw, yeah, dude. He's a throw. They're gonna kill me again. I'm don't, not gonna kill no, you. They're gonna kill me. Let you out. Engineer, are you a throw or are you a crew? If you're a crew, you gotta chill out, man. I know it's you. I know it's you. Don't let me out. I don't know if there's any people in the but I'm letting you out. Let's go. Don't, don't, uh, Marine, don't, don't, let the, don't let the captain out. Don't oh. let the captain out. He's a 100% bad guy. Let me out. Whatever. Let him out right here. The Marine is kind of all over the place. Honestly, at this point in the game, Plumo would be better served by simply not speaking for a little while, uh, unless the captain and engineer start to turn the tide against him. I haven't got a code thing right yet. Are we going to go for the normal right one? Right right such bad sports, yeah, man. I fucking love bad sports. They win games for thralls. All it takes. Alright, so we know right. the doctor. Uh, we can get some more thro we, we can get some more um, coal over the side. Anyone that wants to come and grab it. And then we can push up the uh... Is Chef Chef hasn't been back to the ship, guys. Chef literally hasn't been back. It has to be Chef. Ugh, I can't do anything because it's gonna clear that I'm uh, um roll. It's a clear the people that I'm accusing. Um, I've gone very hard on the it has to be these guys play. And honestly, not sure how I feel about it, but we're gonna go for it anyway. Okay. It's a relatively experienced crew as well. They're just um they're just bitter. They're just bitter for the fact that their crew trusted me. The important thing is to speak with authority and speak from a position of, I know this, listen to me. And if you do that, people will listen to you and it'll be, um, and it'll be a strong position to be in. Uh, yep, he's absolutely right. We saw him use this power for good in the first video and for evil here. The ship's in the good spot for, the end, for day two or day three now. So it's just the end. And you guys are continuing to fall for them. We need to stop wasting time talking to them, guys. I've got six coal for us to get out. Now we just need to push up the bear way, alright? It'll be easy from here. The shoe the shoe was poisoned at the start. So if the shoe was poisoned, then it needs to be then it was the chef. And if it's the chef, then it's also the captain. It's the chef and the captain. It's a hundred percent it's a hundred percent chef. Yeah, and he hasn't been back. 
So that's why I don't think engineers are thrall. I just think he's uh, making mistakes. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna store my coal on the ship and we can get going. What are you doing, Captain? <laughs> He's just giving up, or? He's going to turn all that coal into gunpowder and go for a powder keg play. The captain seems to be all out of the game for now. Uh, this is not a major change from his former strategy. I think he's just preparing in case he needs to become far more aggressive suddenly. Let's kill the first bear then, guys, and we'll get going. We'll be out of here before you know. I need, I need to eat. I'm really hungry. Did we make a stew out of the engineer's corpse? Or the, we could cut up the marine's corpse as well and make a stew if yeah. Hunter's still here to carve I mean, it up quickly. Level, level with you, man. Are you actually a troll? No, 100% not. I just brought back enough coal to get us out, so we should be fun. Well, I'm just gonna hide it out. Are you a troll and 100%? Sorry? And you were back. That was stupid of I'm making stew, guys. Don't worry. Excellent. I'm making love to the stew. I don't trust anybody that cooked for me anymore. I mean, you don't have to eat my stew. I don't care if you don't eat it. I've eaten three stews the, and they're all been poisoned. The other, yeah, th so the two thralls, them. one of them is chef, the other person has to be captain, right? The captain's just given up. And if the captain's given up, then all we have to, all we have to do is get up the top and win the game, and hope the chef doesn't have oh, a million yeah. totems. That's the only, it's it's an easy win from here. I mean, can I like? No, no, We've got no, plenty no. of nails as well, so whatever we want to do, it'll be good. Um, there's no coal. Did someone just leave barrels here? Yeah, somebody just left there. What the fuck was that? Oh, that's I'm the... just cutting my <laughs> <book, so. laughs> That was scary as fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that everyone jumped when they heard the sound of the axe just goes to show how tense the players are in the game. They're not getting along, which means the thralls are doing their job of sowing mistrust. However, the fact that the thralls, in this case Plumo, are jumpy as well, however, is also a sign that they aren't doing a good job. Plumo knows the crosshairs are on him. Oh, dear. Lovely, I won't be too long. Thank you. Some hot chips just arrived. How long to the shoes ready, man? We've got plenty of time, but we'll like <laughs> halfway. Spending a lot of it, yeah. I think all the plants have to do is just attack. Well why don't you attack? <laughs> because I am not strong and that would redact points for me. I mean, like, okay, yeah. when I when I inspected your body, you had poison on you. I don't know, maybe the uh, maybe the Australian other Australian guy like put the. Oh, maybe he fucking. Poison. Yo, that motherfucker. Maybe he put... I didn't yeah, even touch the body. On... I didn't even touch right, the body. Let me so. let me just yeah. say, let me just finish this. Can I just finish? All right, maybe yeah, he put it, it on before I inspected it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I heard but him. I still think it's poison. you. I still think it's more you because Dude, like you fucked up. I would have been able to do something by now. The captain's a poor sport. It's a social deduction game. You can't always expect to be trusted or for everyone else to tell the truth. Well, I think he just, I think he I just got a bad attitude and gave up, dude, after the day one plan went yeah, to Yeah, because you're a fucking <laughs> dumbass. Because you're like, I oh, he had, he, had, he, he had totems in there and he destroyed Stay's them. Ready, guys. There were no Stay's fucking ready. totems. Catch you know what I screamed? I had a spyglass, you know dude, and I saw you build them. <laughs> no, no, you no, ran ahead you know with screamed. bones to do it. Well, no. You know what I had? You know what I used the bones for? Shoot. That bow and arrow that I built. If this is poison, I'm never gonna forgive you. It's okay. Can we have a second shoe, or is that too many? Um, you could probably have a second. Yeah. I love shoe. At least the last two. That's it. Thank you. Uh, that one, I, that one, I've had enough for me, so that's plenty. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Take it. No one wants it. Let's go. Easy, easy. Oh, it's getting night time, but we should be fine. 
We can cut up your body and make a second. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Nah, I, I don't think we've got enough time. Yeah, fair enough. Alrighty. Are you guys coming up? Or we're not going? We're gonna get the oh, you already left the gym, Marine. Sorry. Didn't realize I you left. left now, yeah. Okay, we're coming. Right. Easy, easy. Did the first. Oh, the first bear's dead. Lovely. Yeah. Excellent. Is this oh, people. Did people die here? Well, Holy I mean, shit. This happened, so. Jesus. Oh, okay, I I've see. Only got one bullet, okay, cool. To know. Right. Told you. We're heading up the ship now. Uh, Captain, just summon cannibals on you, dude. Yeah, I summon yeah. cannibals on you, man. Just summon cannibals on you. Yeah, go ahead and kill me. Go ahead and kill me. No, I want him to kill me. You kill me. <laughs> kill me. Lose your points, man. Lose points. Kill me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Give us the navigator. Yeah. I'm just gonna spirit walk up. And then once it's up, then we'll be alright. Is everyone dead but Doctor? I think everyone's dead but Doctor. Right. <laughs> so late. Right. We can go kill the last guy, and that's a, uh, a clean wrap. That is the crew's self destructive behavior ending the game. Gun being used hasn't. Alright, cool. Um, syringe. Gonna be sick, man. Lovely. Uh, and that'll just have to do me. Beautiful. Okay. Alright, so we head back. I think it's literally just this guy, so it'll just be a matter of. Fighting back. The chef did a nice poison stew at the start, and I think it, it, we, we managed to keep just enough suspicion because of the fact I was able to say, well, I had a stew and it didn't, uh, it didn't poison me. It's the chef! Where is he? Ow! That's GG. That's my chefy. And that's that. Lumo gave a lot of credit to the crew for handing them this victory, but I feel a bit differently. I think the majority of the credit here goes to him. He played a really tough strategy, and he stuck to it while under a tremendous amount of pressure. He didn't panic and spirit walk out of danger or give in to the temptation to play directly against the crew. The crew largely died to the bear, but how and why did that happen? Well, it happened because the crew went out shorthanded and unprepared thanks to the moves he made. And... If you didn't catch it, he did this without, one, building a single totem, calling a single whiteout, spirit walking, and only calling cannibals once at the very end. His partner here, the chef, did fine, but I'm also not sure of his contributions. After his early poison play, he seemed to spend the whole time building totems until the very end, uh, totems which didn't do much because he also never called a whiteout or cannibals at all. Yep, exactly. The question is, since people got so upset, why? Well, we get upset in games when we feel cheated in some fashion. That is to say, we feel deceived, but in a context where deception is not part of the game. 
Like, for example, well, was this game an example of fair play deception or an example of the sort of deception that warrants those hard feelings? I have to say that this was a perfect example of fair play deception because not once did Plumo use an exploit or a bug to his advantage. Hell, he didn't even use so much as a single advantage the Thralls have by design in this game. He won by using his brain in a game of wits <laughs> and won. That is the essence of fair play deception. Dude, you had them so mindfucked, dude. They spent the whole third day on boat making stew, dude. Hannah. Jesus. Me and Chapter went out and did the bear. I'm like screaming for help, and they're sitting there yeah. arguing about who the first is. Yeah. People get so passionate in this game. If you get people to turn against each other, the whole crew falls apart. At a certain point, it no longer becomes about who the thrall is, it becomes about proving that you were right. And that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> and when that happens, you might as well have won the game. So. But GG. Sorry I, I, I picked on you, Captain. It was nothing personal. If he's still here. Oh, uh, look at you, yeah. Doctor. You were wrong. I think he left. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not knowing that was telling it was you. <laughs> you had the worst story. You're terrible. <laughs> I said I was right, thank no. you very much. No, I, 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 I was a good navigator. <laughs> well, the marine was on my side, so that was good. That was the doctor. So was the doctor. So it was everyone against you, dude. And unfortunately, aggressing on me went backfired. Um, we had a decent game. We killed a few people. We actually, didn't bomb the ship enough. Um, uh, that poison shoot at the start did serious damage to chef. Nice work with that. Thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more. I stream Dread Hunger live on Twitch quite regularly. The link's in the description if you'd like to come by sometime. There's a bunch more Dread Hunger gameplay videos right over here, and more detailed guides and analysis videos up on my channel if you're interested. Good luck out in the Arctic, and watch out for Bongo.